Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. Reverts here, and today's video is not going to be anything Call of Duty related, but instead it's going to pertain to other YouTubers that watch my videos, and I'm going to give you guys some advice on how to grow, how to run your channel, and uh, stuff like that. So, I'm not really a guy who should be giving out YouTube advice because I myself am a small channel still, but I've been around YouTube for about 7 years now, and I've been making videos for about 4 or 5 years now, so I really have seen a lot on YouTube. I've seen channels grow from small to large, I've seen some people completely fall off of YouTube due to drama, or uh, fights with other YouTubers, and a bunch of other stuff like that, so I really have I've seen a lot here on YouTube in my time and that kind of leads me into my first piece of advice and that's you want to try to stay away from any type of drama no matter what it is because if you are looking out to start fights on YouTube it makes you seem like a jerk and it kind of taints your channel with a bad reputation and I can think of like four guys right now off the top of my head that uh, just have a bad reputation due to drama and really you don't want to be that guy because it can hurt you out in the long run with uh, either making friends or sponsorship deals or stuff like that so just try to be a high spirited and kind of friendly guy on YouTube so yeah that's my first piece of advice advice However, the second piece of advice I have is you want to brand your channel as soon as you can so what branding is basically it's associating your name with a logo or design that everyone knows so for me I have the two swords crossed you see that in all my thumbnails and in my logo you see on screen right now too um, so yeah you want to brand your channel with something that everybody knows uh, my friend lights has the little bulb on his uh, thumbnails and my other friend Jordan or uh, Eli Espresso has the ELE in his logo his intro and his videos and that's a really smart tactic because uh, that way your subscribers can see in the sub box that he posted a new video but and believe it or not some people are subscribed to hundreds of people but if they see that logo in your thumbnails then uh, that's gonna tell them you posted a new video and it's gonna catch their attention more than somebody that doesn't have a logo so uh, try to do that as well also if you have other social media links like a Twitter Facebook or Google Plus if you use that you want to have the same name associated with your YouTube and that's gonna make it a lot easier for your followers to find you on other social media platforms in case they want to connect with you more and it's also good for you because say you have a video that's gonna be delayed or you're about to post a video then you can let your followers know that via social media so I uh, do that as well and for the last YouTube advice that I have is you don't want to clickbait or abuse SEO because for one it's against YouTube's TOS and you could possibly get your channel shut down but it also brands your channel as like a scumbag YouTuber because I can think of like three other YouTubers in the Call of Duty scene at least that have uh, just branded their channel as clickbait and I just see in their comments that uh, people say kill themselves you clickbaiting scum and a bunch of other stuff like that uh, also on reddit too and twitter so it really is hurtful like I said as a uh, I said this in one of my videos before it does kind of hurt me as a, a fellow content creator but you know at the same point in time Time, they uh, kind of branded the channel as this uh, clickbait scumbag youtuber but again you want to try to avoid any type of uh, clickbait titles or SEO abuse on YouTube and my friend Ryan said in one of his videos the other day a really great quote that it kind of stuck with me for quite some time now and basically it's along the lines of it's more rewarding to grow on YouTube the right way than the wrong way and I'm not gonna lie a couple years back I was really obsessed with trying to grow on YouTube so I did a bunch of clickbait titles all caps and stuff like that but then after I watched Ryan's video I uh, thought to myself you know if I'm ever lucky enough and blessed enough to have a large audience audience that watches my videos and content on YouTube then I can sit back and say to myself you know I grew the right way I, I did it the right way and it's a lot more rewarding than uh, saying you know I, I got my way to the uh, high ups on YouTube by abusing clickbait titles and SEO abuse so um, yeah again obviously you want to have an attractive title you know you want to have something that catches people's attention but you don't want to overdo it by like having all caps in the title or something that came from BuzzFeed uh, so yeah that's my advice to you guys if you have a YouTube channel or you are thinking about starting one if you guys enjoyed today's video then drop a like again I'm sorry for not having anything Call of Duty related but I uh, hope you guys did enjoy that gameplay in the background. And so, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'm Avert. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later.